never know You never know All right, uh <clears throat> Hello everybody, uh, this is David Olney and uh, the name of this show is You Never Know and um, it's a beautiful fall day. Let's look here, what's what's happened? What happened? Uh, got the call and played uh, Freedom Sings the Power of Song last Friday at the Bluebird Cafe uh, in honor of the First Amendment and that was fun. Uh, Last Saturday, uh, played the Kentucky Homefront Series in Louisville with Alan Rohde and Rafe Van Hoy. Rafe Van Hoy, uh, and Rafe I had not played gigs a gig with before, and it was really fun to hear him uh, doing songs. Um, okay, coming up this Wednesday, October 18th, playing Cole Slivka's short sets at 9 p.m. at Vinyl Tap in East Nashville, and that used to be the old family wash, right? Yeah. In less than a month, we've got shows in Florida on November 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th in Apalachicola, uh, Sarasota, Palm Harbor, and uh, St. Augustine. Sounds like a train, train stop. Apalachicola! Sarasota, Palm Harbor, and St. Augustine. Tickets now on sale. Uh, dates in early December in St. Louis and uh, Arkansas. And you can check all this out on davidonly.com. And here's a uh, look at that. The poster. <clears throat> Mark Gherkin's beautiful poster of me being swallowed by an alligator. <laughs> Uh, poor alligator. Okay, uh, I wanted to, over the next few times, I uh, <coughs> wrote over the years uh, songs that were kind of uh, recitations. They weren't kind of recitations. They were recitations, which means uh, there wasn't a melody. You just played chords and kind of talked. It's kind of a, you know, I don't know where it came from, but certainly, I mean, it goes... Towns had uh, Mr. Gud, Mr. Uh, Mud, and Mr. Gold, and Woody Guthrie had all the talking blues songs, and uh, Walter Brennan. You know, uh, how did Walter Brennan talk? A painter. You know, yeah, he, was, he always played the old guy in westerns. Uh, <clears throat> he did a that mule, all rivers, and me. Um, uh, Jimmy Dean did Big Bad John. They're all recitations. They don't have a melody. So this is one. This is one of the first ones I wrote. Many years ago, a man called Leonardo set out to paint our Lord. Last Supper. So he sent his servants forth among the poor to find the models for our Lord and his disciples. After many weeks of search, all were found save one, for no amount of gold could hire a Judas. For the poor have their beliefs. They will not tempt their God, and not a one dare play the base betrayer. And then one day a beggar, with a haunted kind of face, accosted Leonardo on the street. Have mercy, noble sir, and give what you can spare, and anything I do to win your favor. Leonardo gave a coin, the highest in the realm, and said thirty more to him who lacked his Judas. Now the beggar's eyes were blinded, 
as the sun's light hit the corner, and he trembled as he fearfully accepted. Once the beggar sat until late into the night as Leonardo worked his master's touch. Ah, but this of all the faces was most difficult to catch, for the features of this man were ever changing. A face that once was haunted was now like one possessed. Eyes that once were frightened now were tortured. But at last the task was done, and the beggar got his gold, and he left that night and was never seen. People talk about a man who goes from town to town and he never stays in one place very long. And while no one knows his name, a few have seen his face in a picture that was painted long ago. And there is a story told of 30 coins of gold and a man who not rest until he spends them. But he might throw them in the sea in the darkest hour of night, and the morning he will find they are still with him. In the morning he will find That's uh, 30 Coins of Gold. I wrote that a long time ago. And, uh, I, you know, I, it just, I just wanted to get some kind of story. Oh, yeah, I'd read about these uh, in Germany, in Oberammergau. They put on, every Easter, they put on this play about the Passion of Christ and getting crucified and resurrected and all. And I just got to thinking about if you were the guy that played Christ in that, I mean, they rehearse this thing all year long. And all year long, you get to play Jesus and you're the savior of the world. But if you're Judas, all year long, you're the, like, you know, the main villain. You know, the <clears throat> it would be weird, it seemed to me. So I got to thinking about that, but I didn't want to write about the play. So I thought, okay, I'll write about Leonardo da Vinci's painting The Last Supper. And I had a whole version where He's painting on canvas, and then it turns out he painted the Last Supper on a wall. So I had to go back and fix that up. And then I, you know, thought there's there's no moral to this. I mean, nobody, the guy who posed as as Judas didn't do anything wrong. Why is he, you know? It just was an odd song, and I'm glad I wrote it because uh, it kind of showed me a way that you could look at things, I guess, song wise. Uh, okay, so that's that. But I can tell you what I wanted to do. I wanted to read a sonnet. I mean, they've been kind of floating in, and I've read a, I think last time I read a new one. But this is an older one. But I put out a book of 30 sonnets, a month of sonnets. You can get it on the, if you're interested, you know, go online. Go to the website. <clears throat> but this is a, since then, uh, I've written, I, oh, I only need four more and I can put out another sonnet book. So, anyway, here's one of uh, the ones I've written since I put out the book. <clears throat> um, okay, this is Sonnet 35. 
I've spent my life moving down the road. The road never moved a single foot. If it knew I was there, it never showed. No seed of love between us could take root. Love can be between a man and place only if the man will stop a while and give affection time enough and space to live and grow and thrive in summer's smile. But the urge to move is truly an addiction. No power on earth can hold the wanderer back. A madness, a sickness, an affliction, a fiction more true than any fact. Deep down in the center of the bone, I know full well I'm going, going, gone. All right. I mean, uh, if you play music, you're going to spend a lot of time driving. And I know uh, my friend uh, Lucienne Reed, she's out there traveling as much as anybody. It's like, it really is kind of, uh, uh, you know, an addiction. Uh, but anyway, it's what I do. And I think that's what I've got. Anything else I want to show? No, I'm good. I'll see you next week. You never know. You never know. You never know.